Hi everybody, my name is Emily and I work for the Mississauga Library System and I'm here to share some Black History Month picks for the little readers in your life, usually age six to nine, though these books can be enjoyed by anyone. So first up we have Little Leaders and this series is by Vashti Harrison and it's short biographies of exceptional men and bold women from across black history. It spans centuries and features short one-page biographies of notable figures in black history. It involves a write-up as well as a picture and timelines in the back as well and some people who didn't make it into the book but are also notable figures in history. This is a great introduction for children who are just starting to read nonfiction and are interested in biographies. For children who are interested in longer biographies, we have the Who Is and Who Was series. And this series is a multi-book series. It features tons and tons of celebrities, but does have a very prominent lineup of black figures like Bob Marley, Oprah Winfrey, Aretha Franklin, and Maya Angelou. So these are just some examples of people that they have biographies on. If the person is currently living, it is the Who Is series. If the person has passed away, it is the Who Was series. And this is a longer biography dedicated to one person's life with historical notes, timelines, and provides a ton of context in how the person featured was breaking barriers in black history and in world history. Now, both of these book series do feature more American biographies. For some black history closer to home in Canada, we have the fantastic Scholastic Biography series. And these are two of the books. We have Meet Willie O'Ree and Meet Viola Desmond. So Viola Desmond broke barriers in Nova Scotia in 1946 by refusing to give up her seat in part of the movie theater that was unofficially reserved for white people. Viola refused and took her fight all the way to Canada's Supreme Court and really showed the racism still present in Canada at the time and now. And Viola has been heralded as a leader of civil rights in Canada and is featured on our $10 bill. We also have Willie O'Ree, another East Coaster, this one from New Brunswick, who broke barriers in 1958, becoming the first black professional hockey player in the NHL. And Willie O'Ree is still alive today, teaching kids hockey and promoting diversity within the sport. Each one of these is also beautifully illustrated and involves a timeline and other historical data. So these are just some excellent nonfiction picks for the readers in your life who are just starting out learning about black history.